Yo, yo, what's up, what's good? It's your boy BQ, Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. Here on a lunch break, thought I'd do another reaction video. That's two in two days, right? Two into three days. I haven't been uh, doing that in a while, so wanted to bless you guys one time. Give you guys a platform also to share your opinions. First time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. This is The Lounge. So what I wanted to talk about today was Ace Austin joining the Bullet Club. So first of all, I put that put this out there a few times. I don't like the Bullet Club. Never really liked them. I don't like um, cool heels. And, uh, just me. I'm old school. Uh, but I don't like them. Uh, I, I like Chris Bay. I'm, I'm glad he's involved in it because you know, even though they're not as popular as they once were, they're still a big deal. They still move merchandise, you know. So it's good for Chris Bay to be involved. But he he takes a lot of L's. You know what I mean? Like he hasn't. We, we can't say Chris Bay's necessarily been, like, elevated since joining him. So, East Austin, uh, I don't care about New Japan. I don't, I'm not saying if you like it, you know, shame on you or anything like that. I just don't like it. But, um, so I'm not familiar with the super juniors and the, 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 the middle featherweight jiggle tit, you know, champion and all that shit. I just, it's just not my, my jam. But... I know that he, you know, became a part of the Bullet Club, Ace Austin. And what's good about this, well, first of all, I don't know how the Bullet Club decides their members. I don't think Impact Wrestling hit him up like, hey, can Ace join the Bullet Club? But it's a good sign for someone in Impact who um, is getting the opportunity to do something different uh, and take that next step. Because we've seen so many guys over the last, I'll just, you know, just last couple years, um, you know, whether it be Jake something, Rohit Raju, you know, some of these dudes in the X division who just kind of like, they're here and they just, there's nothing creatively to get them, get them to here. You know what I mean? They, they're just there. Um, Trey Miguel is flirting with that a little bit. Um, I think they're doing a better job with him than they have with other people. But you see a guy like Rohit Raju who just never, uh, you know, did everything he had, to, he could do in the X division and just never, was given that opportunity to elevate or to just do something different, get to the next level. So for Ace Austin, he's taken, he doesn't lose a lot, but he's lost a lot of X Division championship matches. And um, I've said oftentimes on the podcast, yo, like you can only beat Ace Austin so many times before he's going to start. And uh, what I mean is in beating him in high profile matches, you know what I mean? You can't just give him the X Division Championship every once in a while and be like, oh, we're, we're pushing Ace Austin again, and then he loses the title, and then what the hell do you do with him? You know what I mean? His X Division Championship reigns have been pretty good so far, you know? I thought they should have, you know, his first run should have lasted a lot longer. I should have, I thought they should have leaned more into the, you know, the Trey's mom stuff, I'm going to bang your wife stuff the uh, triple X division. I thought they should have leaned into that a little bit more because at the time X division champions weren't necessarily creative and there wasn't a lot going on with them storyline wise. But my point is with him joining the bullet club, it gives him the opportunity to start elevating to that next level. He's more high profile now because he's, uh, you know, he's, I guess he's doing some more new Japan stuff here coming up. And while initially I thought Chris Bay's inclusion was going to be really beneficial, I don't I don't know that it necessarily has because when he's on impact, he doesn't win very much. Ace Ace does get some pretty, you know, decent wins here or there. You know, he's a little more, I don't know if he's more high profile, but probably a little bit. He's one of those cornerstones. He's one of those pillars. Like, you don't want to lose Ace Austin. And he's the champion now, and I was thinking, you know, he really has to get to that main event scene sooner than later. Once he loses the S, this X Division championship, he can't be like back in the X Division and it, you know competing at Ultimate X and doing uh, qualifying matches, things like that. He's just he's beyond that. So, you know, he's part of the Bullet Club as the champion, so that's a good thing. I don't know how much they're going to be involved. He'll be involved with the Good Brothers on TV and stuff because. Slammiversary is coming up here soon. The Good Brothers contracts run out after Slammiversary. You know, the rumors were that they're very far apart on contract negotiations. So, uh, does it mean that Ace Austin is stepping into kind of teaming up with Chris Bay on Impact uh, while the Bullet Club is see you later? You know what I mean? That way, Chris Bay isn't just there by himself. 
Uh, and if that's the case, that can make for some interesting tag team stuff. So we'll see what happens. But this does give Ace the platform to start elevating up to that main event level. So he's not uh, Rohit or Jake where, you know, they get to this point and they don't know how to elevate him any further. You know, this is good stuff for him, for his career, for Impact, who needs to start building uh, those new stars. We're seeing guys come and go uh, who are in part of big angles, you know, and, and fans are starting to get mad about it. TW always says on a cool factor, where's our guy? So Ace Austin is one of our guys our, as, as Impact Wrestling fans that we can get behind. And whenever he does eventually drop this title, I think the Bullet Club stuff is going to keep him a little more relevant. And then I think from there, he can start moving up to main event status where he just needs to be. I will reiterate that after he loses this title, it's his third reign. He cannot go back to doing qualifying matches and bullshit X Division matches. Like at this point, get Ace Austin to the next level. Thanks for checking me out. I'm your boy BQ. I'm out. Peace.